What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com and today we're going to show you a closer and on feet look at the Air Jordan 12 known as Deep Royal Blue or Blue Suede. You'll probably hear me say both throughout this video. Now they are set to drop this Saturday, November 12, 2016. Retail price is $190 and you can grab these at Chic Shoes Retailers. There'll be a link in the description below. Being 100% honest with you guys, when I first saw these images of the shoes, I was like, damn, like I had to have them. Now that I have them in hand, um, you know, I still think they're dope. I still really do like them. I just don't think I can personally pull them off. It's a lot of blue. You got, I mean, a lot, a lot of blue. But um, I did try them on really, really quick. And to me, they're about true to size, which is odd because Jordan 12s aren't really true to size to me. However, I probably could get away with going a half size down if I needed to. But let's bring you closer. So the whole reason why they're being called blue suede is... For obvious reasons is the blue suede used through the uppers so the suede's actually not bad at all so the material use is not i have no real complaints about that we also have blue through the midsole the reptile overlay and this metallic jumpman branding right here which matches the eyelets kind of throws it off a little bit for me um, but that's just, you know, just my taste, I guess. Everyone has their own. So, let me move this out of the way. At the heel, we have Jordan, quality inspired by the greatest player ever. Got the, uh, then that's done in white. 2-3 in white, Jumpman in white, and like a metallic silver, or just a silver on the background. So, same deal with the medial side. Nothing's changed here. So, same deal with the toe. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the tongue, all suede. Um, we have white stitching for the 2-3 going down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jesus, what's wrong with my throat? And we have uh, the Jumpman stitched in white. Nothing special for the lace tips. Alright, so the liner, again, is done in blue, which you guys probably already knew that. And I did pull out the insole. Damn, these things stick. All blue with a white jump, man. Now we're going to bring you to the sole. So we got all blue, white on the jump, man. And kind of like a hint of gray. It's supposed to be metallic, but I, obviously metallic isn't really going to pull up that well on the sole. But we got that on the 2-3. Carbon fiber in the mid in the midfoot, mid plate, whatever. God, I cannot talk tonight. Ball blue. Um. So, as far as craftsmanship... Now, if you like the shoes, you're going to buy them regardless of what I say. And to be honest, I'm still going to buy them because I really do like them. But, um, you know, I've seen a few pairs. And hopefully yours is not like that, you know, because obviously not every pair is going, going to be exactly the same. You'll have your glue stains here and there on certain pairs. And you won't on certain pairs. Well, I, I have yet to see a pair without glue stains. It's just how bad it is so here's the deal the first flaw and what's bigger to me than the glue stains is look at the midsole especially in this area you see how it's it's not even matching like it's dark blue and then it goes light blue like and it's not supposed to be like that and you can also see all the glue stains in there especially on the suede so around the toe suede will really really pick up the glue stains Look at that. That is just bad. And it's even looks like it's yeah, it definitely has came up on the toe the toe box which pisses me off. This just goes, you know, to show like make sure if you know, if you want these just and you're able to look at them in person which I think everybody should be able to uh just check them out, you know. If they if you have to make them return and grab another pair, just do that. Um you could see the fading also Look at that. 
the different colored blues in there and that's not it's not supposed to be like that you could definitely tell that um the paint job is just not there so that is the biggest flaw to me um i mean yeah the glue stains are just it's repetitive it happens a lot and you see it a lot but um even look at the corner it doesn't even look like it's it's not even together there's like a gap in this area down here and this side is flush so let's just check the other one out really quick um this one is definitely a lot worse <laughs> um for one you could tell the suede has been well it's starting to come out but it's almost scuffed towards the heel um, you can see the glue stains on the midsole. These almost appear to be worn, but they haven't. The glue stains, that's all glue stains. I have yet to put them on feet. and Even if I put them on feet, it's literally in my home. Um, so it's not going to get that bad. So the glue stains are all in there. And you could also see in this, definitely on this, on the midsole, the overlay where the reptile is print. Not, not the mudguard area which is a leather but more the rubber it's definitely uh fading in different colors like you have your deep royal blue and then it almost looks like it's supposed to be metallic or a lighter shade of blue so it's basically a mess up and then this actually the jump man right here has metallic kind of like a metallic iridescent however you want to say it um detailing as well as the eye the top two eyelids um you know, I have the PSNY. I got lucky and got those. And ooh, look at that toe box. Look like a damn cat got to it. What the fuck? Shit. That's <laughs> to me. That looks bad. So and ooh, and down here, Jesus Christ. Come on, Jordan Brand. You got to do quality control for real. Um. So what I was saying is, I do have the PSNY. I'm super happy with the PSNY, but then I did pay 300 for them. I was lucky enough to get them on the sneakers app at retail. I just won it. Uh, my first experience with the sneakers app, I won, and then I pretty much never got lucky since. But um, you can see it in here. Let's see the sole. Uh, looks like your standard sole. You see, it hasn't been worn. Um, so I'm going to do a comparison of the two. Obviously that pair is going to be, uh, it's a premium release. This pair was expected to be a premium release. It's not, but, um, it uses suede and that pair, I believe the PSNY, I believe uses suede, a very fine suede, but, um, like this suede here is not bad. I'm not going to lie and say, you know, it is bad. Um, it's good. It's just the craftsmanship overall it lacks. So anyways, Let's jump to the on feet. Everybody. So that was your closer and on feet look at the Air Jordan 12 Deep Royal Blue, aka Blue Suede. These are going to drop this Saturday, November 12, 2016. Retail price will be $190. You'll be able to get these at Chic Shoes Retailers. Link in the description below. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so kind of just going off on my tangent earlier, um, quality is pretty bad. Um, it's up there with the, the flu game. Somebody commented uh, the glue game. What was it? Glue game? games or something like that um i thought that was funny but uh these are pretty bad like and I, it's just not this pair it's other pairs too um the glue stains like okay so let's just get past the glue stains yes you can fix them 
get a hot washcloth or something. That's at least I've heard that. Maybe I should check, test that out on this on this pair and um, upload that later. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. At least I'll be able to know in the future. Um, that isn't so bad. The midsole, it, to me, it just looks very bad. It looks like somebody customized this and did a shit job. Um, I don't like that. Uh, if it was supposed to be like that, even if it was if it was supposed to, but it's not. Um, it just looks bad. Like, man, just very, very irritating to me. Now, the hype for these. There is some hype for them. I do believe they're going to sell out. I mean, the nylon 12s, I'm pretty sure sold out. And a lot of people were... It was like, to me, it seemed like it was 50-50 on them. You either thought they were dope or you didn't, obviously. But um, those sold out. So this pair, I definitely think it's going to sell out. Um, online, for sure. At least the sneakers app. In store, it might take a day or two. But it will eventually sell out. Um, it's just really you know, discouraging to see, um, this midsole, that's, that's the thing, and, you know, don't get me wrong, if you guys are watching this video, any of my videos for the first time, and seeing, um, me, it might sound like I'm being negative, but, um, I'm totally not, I love Jordan brand, I have a bunch of their shoes, um, you know, I just, I'm trying to, I want to be honest with you guys so you know what you're getting into ahead of time. I know other people that review shoes, they do a good job, but you know, they just show you the shoes and they don't really talk about it and go in depth. And that's cool. I know one other YouTuber that does, um, you know, I don't really talk to him or know, I know of him, but uh, DJ Dells, he does that. I know Scoop does that for the most part, but everyone, a lot of other people, and if I'm missing anybody, you know, I apologize. Um, they just more give like if they think it's cool and it's not. Again, I do think it's cool this pair. I do like the look. I just don't like the craftsmanship. But um, you know, now I'm just going on a rant and I probably should just do a whole different video for that. But uh leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of these, um, the quality on them, um, anything. And uh, you know, I'll respond to you shortly. I know last week I kinda um, was a little bit delayed on my response. I actually, it was my daughter's birthday. So, um, Thursday I actually celebrated it. And then on Sunday I had a party. So it was a little bit, you know, planning for it in a way, but, uh, anyways, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfalls.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.